All right, guys, ADHD here, and today we're going to be doing an awesome tutorial on this giant SpongeBob house. This is freaking awesome. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, and I think this is an awesome item to come back with. This thing looks amazing. One of my favorite houses I've actually ever built, and I think it looks absolutely epic. We got these awesome floors over here. It looks probably like a sky roof. It's got everything, guys. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys actually how to build this SpongeBob house. He's floating on a pod. I'm going to be showing you guys every Every single piece on how to build this starting right now guys here we go but before we get started if you guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button I would greatly appreciate it and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to do see a tutorial on next I would really really appreciate it but anyway we're gonna start right now and as always guys if at any point in this video you have any trouble feel free to pause it go back do anything you have to do to try and catch up with me if I'm going too fast go ahead and pause the video and go ahead. I'm gonna try and go slow and step by step but if you ever need to feel free to pause it guys and catch up as always helps everybody out so please guys be sure to do that but anyway let's get started so what you're gonna need for this build is a few things but starting off all you're gonna need is brown wool white wool black wool red wool yellow concrete red concrete pink concrete white concrete and this grass block means nothing it's just there for some reason so <laughs> ignore that block and we're gonna need some other things as we go and i'll update you guys when we need to pull those blocks out but for right now this is what we're gonna need and if you guys think anything would look better and you want to alternate any of these blocks as always feel free to do so but anyway let's get started into the build Okay, so first we're going to start off by lining it. I'm going to start off by lining it up with this one because I have like OCD and they have to be perfectly in a line with each other. So what we're going to do now, though, is what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do a row of seven brown wool, guys. Super simple. Seven, row, seven blocks of brown wool going to the right. So starting off here, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven brown wool just like this. Then we're gonna leave a space. This is where our door is gonna go. This is gonna be a space of two. So one, two, and then we're gonna do seven brown wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And if you're not gonna do the SpongeBob, like the house aspect of it, all you're gonna do is just make it a full row. Just fill these two in right here with some brown wool if you're not gonna make it house. But for me, I wanna make it house, so this is where the door is gonna go. Okay, so seven brown, space of two, then seven. That's our first row here. Then the next row, what we're going to do is come over to the left side again. It's going to be one brown wool, two black wool, one, two, one brown wool, one, then two black wool, one, two, and then we're going to get really crazy here, guys. We're going to be putting a red wool <laughs> run right there. And then if you're going to go ahead and do, or actually, I'm sorry, if you're going to do it, make it just a SpongeBob, you're just going to fill this whole square right here with red wool. But if you're not making the SpongeBob, like just a SpongeBob, you're making the house, like I am, you're going to go ahead and just leave this a blank again because, you know, a door is two blocks high. So we're going to leave another space of two. And then starting right here in this next section, we're going to do one red wool, then two black wool, one, two, then one brown wool, then two black wool, one, two, and then finish that up with one brown wool right here on the end, just like that. So it should look just like this. And then if you want to make it just a SpongeBob without the house aspect, like I said, it's just like that. Everything else, though, from here on out should be the same, whether you're making a house or you're making just a SpongeBob part of it. So right here, this is what you should have right now, guys. Looks pretty simple, and it is pretty simple. And once we get down with the front, guys, that is the hardest part of it, and it's super simple. So here we go. Next row, we're going to get our brown wool back. We're going to start on the left side here, and we're going to do a total of six brown wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to get our red wool out, and now we're not going to have this space anymore because the door is already there. So we're going to do a total of four red wool going to the right. One, two, three, and four, just like that. Then we're going to bring our brown wool back out, and we're going to finish this row up with another six brown wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like this, guys. Looks pretty good, and we're already almost done with some of the hardest parts of this thing. So now we're going to get our white wool out, guys, and we're going to go over here to the left side right here. And we're going to go ahead and do a total of three white wool. So here you go, guys. One, two, three. Then we're going to do two black wool. One, two. Then we're going to do two white wool. One, two. Then we're going to do two red wool. One, two. Then another two white wool. One, two. Then two black wool. One, two. And then finish this row up with three white wool. One, two, three. And I'll back up so you take a look at that one more time, just like that. 
last row for Mr. Square Pants is Square Pants. We're gonna do one white wool, then two black wool, one, two, then two white wool, one, two, then one black wool, then four red wool, one, two, three, four, then one black wool, then two white wool, one, two, then one black wool, and then, all right, sorry, two black wool, guys, okay, my bad, two black wool, one, two, then one white wool, and I'll back up, take a look at that, like I said, everything's basically the same thing on this side as the same thing on this side, so sorry about that, it was two black wool right there, guys, just like this, so we finished square pants to square pants, and like I said, should look like this if you don't want the house aspect, so it looks more like that, but we're gonna go ahead and remove those two, because I like it being a house. So now we have his square pants done. Now we do the face. So, or like his body, I guess. SpongeBob has like a face that is his body. So we're gonna go ahead and do two rows of yellow concrete, just like this. All the way across, just yellow concrete. So that's one row. Then we're gonna do another row of just pure yellow concrete, just like this. So just two simple rows of yellow concrete. Sorry, I'm like missing everywhere here, but just two rows of yellow concrete, just like that, guys. Okay guys, so now we're gonna actually do SpongeBob's mouth. So we want to have a really cool 3D effect and I'll show you guys how to do that. But first, we're gonna make the opening. So we have these two rows right here. We're gonna come to the left side and we're gonna go to the right with a total of five yellow concrete. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna leave a space of six, but so we don't have to count it out. We're just gonna go all the way to the right side and go to the left total of five yellow concrete. One, two, three, four, and five and then leave this space right here. It should be a space of six, just like this. So now we're coming to the left side and do kind of the same thing, both less blocks. So we're gonna do three yellow concrete going to the right. One, two, three, just like that. And now we're gonna do the same thing over here on this right side. One, two, three, just like this. And there should be a spacing as well, just like that. Now come back to the left side and we're gonna do two blocks. One, two, and then do the same thing on the right side. One, two. And then the same thing on the left side again, one more time, one, two. And then one more time over here, one, two, just like that. Okay, so now we have to do this, is just go on the right, left side right here and make a straight row of yellow concrete all the way to the right, just like this, guys. Oops, missed it a little bit there. <laughs> all the way to this side, just like this. And we're gonna work on his mouth right here. And we want to have like a 3D effect, like I said, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our red concrete, or no, I'm sorry, pink concrete out. And right where the spacing of six blocks is, we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing, but like up one and back, if it kinda makes sense. So we're gonna go through his mouth just like this, and place a block here, and then bring one here just to bring it back. And we're just filling in the spacing basically in this bottom row right here with the pink. And that's gonna be SpongeBob's tongue right there, which looks kinda weird right now, so we have to give him some teeth and stuff, and things will look start looking good. So, now get out your red concrete, and we're gonna go around the frame of his mouth right now with the red concrete just like this and you don't have to you know you can put a block here and stuff it doesn't have to look exactly like this you just want all of these blocks on the outside to be matching so that way you don't see like inside the house or anything like that it just looks like it's all part of his mouth so we're just going to frame the mouth with the red concrete i remove these blocks because they don't really need to be there it's just it's unnecessary so i remove them but you don't have to so just like that and then the same way we filled in this space with the pink tongue, we're gonna fill in this entire spacing now with the red. So just place a block anywhere, bring it out, and you're just gonna fill in this entire spacing, just like this. So just anywhere there's a space, just, just cover it up with the red block, just like this. And this is just so his, like I said, his mouth has a little bit of a 3D effect, and it kind of looks like it's like his esophagus or something, and it just goes on forever. So it should look just like this. He should look like some kind of scary uh, old man SpongeBob with no teeth. <laughs> so let's give him some teeth before he creeps me out anymore. All right, so what you need to do is you can do it two ways. You can find the center of the door and then go to the top of the roof of his mouth and find him right here. Or what I think is better to do is just go to the tongue right here, go all the way up and do two uh, white, uh, white concrete, just like this. So just on the end of the block right here. And then the same thing on this side, just go straight up like this. And then once you have that, so basically the gap in his teeth should be centered with the door. That's another way you can make sure you have it done right. And those teeth are a little short, so we're gonna add one more row onto those, just like that. So now we have SpongeBob's mouth and his tongue and everything done. It looks pretty good if you ask me. So now we're gonna do his cheeks, his nose, his eyes, all that good stuff next. Here we go.
Okay, so for this, what we're gonna do, guys, is follow along with me very closely, because this is the last part. It's like kind of, it's not hard, it's like medium difficulty. And once we get done with this, guys, the rest of the house is a total breeze. So bear with me, guys, here we go. So what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna do one yellow concrete on the left side here. Then you're gonna do two more yellow concrete, but then you're gonna bring those two out on another, two, another one block. So like this, one, two, and then those two blocks you just placed, bring them out, just like that. And then you're gonna do the next row. You're just gonna go and do four yellow concrete. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do five and six right here, but we're gonna do the same thing we did with these blocks right here. We're gonna bring them out. So just go one, two, and then bring those right back out, just like that, and that'll be centered to the teeth as well. So here we go. Now we're gonna continue on with another four yellow concrete. One, two, three, and four. And then again, guys, we're gonna do two more blocks right here, but they're gonna come straight back out just like those other two did. One, two, and then bring them straight back out, guys. Super simple, but here's what it looks like again. And then the last block, we're gonna put a yellow concrete as well. So it should look just like this, guys. Super simple. Now we're gonna do the next row. So the next row is gonna be just like this, guys. It's gonna be the same in some ways, but a little different. So make sure you follow along closely. It's gonna be one yellow concrete. Then it's gonna be one yellow concrete, one white concrete. And then on these two blocks, same way we did this one right here, we're gonna bring him straight out with the yellow concrete. I know this looks weird, but it's a part of his eye. So when you see it on this one over here, his cheeks kind of overlap his eye a little bit and it kind of looks good like that. So that's why we just covered up that white block. All right, so now what we're gonna do is continue on from there with a total of four white concrete. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do two yellow concrete and again, guys, we're gonna bring those straight back out. So one, two, then one, two, straight back out. Okay, and then we're gonna do another five white concrete. One, two, three, four, and five. And then on the right here, we're gonna do one yellow concrete. And on these two blocks, we're just like this piece is, we're gonna bring them out. And then finish this last one up over here with one regular yellow concrete. Okay, so now we kind of have like a weird looking SpongeBob. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the nose one, which is the center one, and we're gonna bring it out two more rows, just like this. Just to make it a little longer. And SpongeBob's nose is so long, you could even do four or five and it probably would look okay. But I'm only gonna do two more added to mine, just like this. Okay, so now we're gonna continue onward on the left side right here, and we're just going straight up again. So right now we're gonna do two yellow concrete. One, two. Then we're gonna do one white concrete. And now we're gonna look into our system right here and we're gonna find some light blue concrete. So just go ahead and find the concrete real quick. I have a little trouble finding mine real quick here. <laughs> yeah, right here, light blue concrete. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this dirt block because that never really had a purpose. <laughs> and then we're gonna place three yellow, light blue concrete, just like this. One, two, three. Then one white concrete. Then we're gonna place two yellow concrete. One, two. Then we're gonna place one white concrete then three light blue concrete, one, two, three, then one white concrete, then two yellow concrete, one, two. Okay guys, so now we have his eyes and he kind of looks like a really creepy thing right now. So let's finish this thing up real quick before he freaks me out anymore, like I said. So we're gonna go and do two yellow concrete, one, two, one white concrete, one light blue concrete, one black concrete or black wool. I'm gonna go ahead and do the black uh, concrete. I think that'll look a little better and I want it to look nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get the black wool back and we're gonna put that right there just like that, black concrete. Then we're gonna do one light blue concrete, one white concrete, then two yellow concrete, one, two. Then we're gonna do one white concrete, one light blue concrete, one black concrete, one light blue concrete, one white concrete, then finish this row up with two yellow concrete. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna do this one more time, or a few more times actually, but this is like the last row that's kind of difficult, then it's super, super easy, guys. So we're gonna do two yellow concrete, one, two, then one white concrete, then three blue, light blue concrete, one, two, three, one white concrete, two yellow concrete, one, two, one white concrete, three light blue concrete, one, two, three, one white concrete. Then we're gonna finish it up with two yellow concrete. Okay, so now we're gonna do this row super easy, so follow along guys. It's two yellow concrete, one, two. Five white concrete, one, two, three, four, five. 
two yellow concrete, one, two, five white concrete, one, two, three, four, and five, and then finish this row up with two white concrete. And now we're gonna back up, take a look at it. This is what it should look like. And as you see, he's missing a couple things, a little bit more forehead, and he needs some eyelashes. So now I think the black wool looks best for this because I think for cloth or like hair or any of that stuff, I think the wool looks the best, but you know, use whatever you think looks best. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the black wool though, just like this. So now we got the black wool. We're gonna do like this. Two yellow concrete, one, two, one black wool, one yellow concrete, one black wool, one yellow concrete, one black wool. Just basically every other block over his eye to make his eyelashes. Then we're gonna do two yellow concrete. One, two. One black wool, one yellow concrete, one black wool, one yellow concrete, one black wool, and then finish this up with two yellow concrete. One, two, just like that. So this is what it should look like. And now guys, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do three rows of just plain yellow concrete to finish this row up, just like this. Okay guys, so we are almost done here. Boom, okay, oh, not boom, <laughs> boom. So now guys, you have finished the hardest part of this entire house. The rest of this is a complete breeze. So you have done the hardest part of this house. So go ahead and give yourself a little pat on the back because like I said, that is the hardest part right there. So now we're gonna finish up his sides and then we're gonna go ahead and do his legs and his arms and all that stuff. But that stuff is super, super easy, guys. So like I said, give yourself a round of applause because you have done the hardest part. So let's get on to the next part. We're gonna come to the bottom right over here and we're gonna go back a total of six brown wool. So one, two, three four, five, six, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the left side here. We're gonna do two black wool, one, two, one brown wool, then two black wool, one, two, then one brown wool. Next row is gonna be all brown wool, all the way to this side. Next row, all white wool, all the way to this side. Last row, another row of all white wool, just like this, guys. Super, super easy, like I said, guys. And then here comes the even easier part. Just get yellow concrete and go all the way up till we get to the top of his head, just like that, where the ending is. So that's gonna be our marker is like, and that's as high as it's gonna go. So you're just gonna fill in all of this until you get to the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you guys. Normally I'd skip ahead for this time of part, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with you guys because it's not gonna take that long. We're just filling all of this in right here. And like I said, guys, if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause it at any time in order to fill this in. You might even be filling this in faster than me. So, but if you need to, go ahead and pause and fill this in. And you're just gonna keep going until you get all the way up to the same height as his head, just like that. And boom, we have finished his right side. Like I said, the right side, like I told you, the sides are super easy. Everything else is easy from here on out, guys. So now come over to the left side and you can even get ahead of me by just copying that side over there. But I'm gonna go ahead and break it down just for some people, you know, it's a little bit easier just to follow along, I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway, but you can easily replicate that side. So we're gonna do six rows or six blocks of brown wool going to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, come back to the right side here. We're gonna go ahead and do two black wool. One, two, one brown wool. Two black wool, one, two then one brown wool. All right, next row guys, all brown wool. And you guys know the drill. Next thing is all white wool. And then one more row of all white wool. And as you guys just did, yellow concrete all the way up to the top. Like I said guys, you did the hardest part. So if you're done with that, like, you know, just feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the coolest because I, because you are. And it's just like, you, you're, just, you're just a master builder at this point because that part is kind of hard. I'm gonna be honest with you, that, that part is a little bit difficult. So if you did it, like I said, give yourself a, a third round of applause because that part could be difficult, but now you're on easy street. So enjoy this and let's get this thing done. Almost done here, having a little bit of trouble filling it in. I always get ahead of myself and then I miss the block. So here we go, almost done. One last row, boom. Okay, so now we're gonna do his back and we're gonna make him like an armless and legless monster until we get his arms and legs done. So here we're gonna do is just drop straight down to the bottom right here and get out your brown wool. And you're gonna connect the two sides with a row of brown wool going straight to the other side. Either way, it doesn't matter if you start on the left side, or right side, just a straight row of brown wool. 
And then we're gonna get our black wool and we're gonna actually be going from this side to that side, switching and alternate. So starting in this corner, you're gonna do two black wool, one, two, one brown wool, two black wool, one brown wool, two black wool, one brown wool, two black wool, one brown wool, and then finish it up with two black wool, just like that. Then the next row, like you guys probably know, all brown wool all the way to the other side. And that finishes up his belt loops right there. And then the next two rows are all white wool, guys. So just white wool all the way to this side, white wool all the way to that side, just like that. Now, this part right here, guys, this depends on you. If you're just building a SpongeBob, then all you're gonna do is fill in the entire top and this entire back with yellow concrete. But if you're following along with me and building a house, you're gonna need to pull out some yellow stained glass or some regular glass if you want. I just think yellow stained glass looks the best because I don't know, it just, it just looks cool with this type of design. So what we're gonna do is get our yellow concrete and we're gonna go to the left side and we're gonna go all the way straight up. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here on the right side, get your yellow concrete out and go all the way straight up. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your glass out just like this. You can use glass panes, but uh, I'm gonna use the glass blocks because it's easier to place for the tutorial sake. But glass panes work just as good and probably look a little better to be honest. So I'd recommend using those, but I'm gonna use this for, like I said, easy, easier to place. So you're gonna get glass and you're gonna go all the way to this side and you're gonna do that for three rows, guys. Three rows, just connecting it with the yellow stained glass. And then you're gonna do another three rows of yellow concrete. This is just to space our windows out here, guys. And like I said, guys, if you're building the SpongeBob, you don't need to do this. You could just do just yellow concrete all the way straight up. But I think it's cool to have a house that's like, you know, just make it multi-purpose. And then we're gonna do another, once you've done the three yellow stained, uh, yellow concrete, you're gonna do another row of three yellow stained glass to make our windows here. And then you guys know what's next probably, another three rows of yellow concrete. Just like that. And then you guys probably know what's next again, another three yellow stained glass, just like this. All right, perfect. And then just do yellow concrete all the way up to the top. It should only be two left, just like this. And you can change those windows however you guys like. You can make them smaller, bigger, less, whatever. Make the whole thing a window if you want. Whatever you guys think looks best. And then on the top here, I want a sunroof. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this entire top of his head in with the glass as well. Because I think of this, I don't know, I like sunroofs. It lets natural light in. And I can tell what time of day it is from inside my house. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all of this in right here. Just like this. And... Boom, or not boom, still have to be left here. <laughs> I can edit myself again. A boom, oh no, come on, I wanna do the boom. Boom, <laughs> just like that. So now we have a SpongeBob with no freaking like, you know, arms or legs or anything like that. And I kinda feel bad for him. So let's go ahead and give him some legs and some arms. Let's start off with the legs, cause that's probably the harder of the two. But again, they're super easy as well. So let's do his left leg. Okay, so for his left leg, all we're gonna do is this guys, it's super simple. Find this back left corner right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, or not back, front left corner right here. You're gonna go and go to the right one block and you're gonna do a row of four brown wool. One, two, three, four, just like that. And you're gonna do that two more times on top of it. Or yeah, two more times on top of it, just like this. So now we have a wall that's that same size. We're gonna make two more of those walls right in front of it, just like this. Just basically mimicking it two more times. Okay, that looks good guys. Now, on this wall, in these two center blocks right here, you're gonna go ahead and extend with four yellow concrete. One, two, three, four. And same thing on this other center one. One, two, three, four. Just basically making his legs just like that. So you can see how they work right there. And then on the end here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a black wool on both of these, just like this. Then one black wool below those two and then two black wool on top of those two. Just like this. Now it looks like he's wearing socks, but if you do one more, we're gonna go ahead and make one more of the exact same thing, again, mimic it. Now we have a shoe. And you can even do this too, make it more shoe-like, but I don't know, I think it looks better like that, so I'm gonna keep it like that, but that also could look good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side with the brown wool. Find this right corner right here. 
Go to the block left one block, and you're gonna go to the left a total of four brown wool. One, two, three, four. And again, do two more rows of that on top of that, just like this. And then you guys know what to do. Go ahead and do two more rows of that same thing. Boom, just like this. All right, and then again, these two center blocks, extend them with four yellow concrete. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on the ends of this, do two black wool. One, two. And then on the bottom, do two black wool as well. One, two. On top of that, do two rows of two black wool. One, two, one, two. We have our sock again, and then recreate it one more time in front of that to give them the full shoe. And boom, you have done SpongeBob's legs. Now let's do SpongeBob's arms. Okay, so for his arms, this is super easy because it's just about, about centering them, to be honest. It's not really hard at all. All you're gonna do is find this center block right here, this brown block right between these two black blocks. Go all the way up until you get to the yellow, and we're gonna do one white wool. And then on the right to it, we're gonna do one white wool. And on the left, we're gonna do one white wool. And then what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go up two blocks on the left side, one, two. And on the right side, we're gonna go up two blocks, one, two. And then we're gonna fill the center block in right here, just like that. So we should have this like square with a hole in the middle. And we're gonna do that one more time. Just go around, copy that exact same thing. Okay, now what you're gonna do, guys, is from this part right here, you're gonna go out a total of 10 yellow concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that, guys. All right. So that's basically his arm, but we're gonna go ahead and add his hands on this arm. So come to this corner right to this top, top of the end of our yellow stick here, and you're gonna go to the left here, a total of four yellow concrete. One, two, three, four. And then do the same exact thing here on the bottom. One, two, three, and four. And then on this top corner one right here, this block, guys, you're gonna go up two. One, two, just like this. And now we give them a little thumbs up just like that. You can also even remove this block right here. Oops, not that one. This one right here. And kind of give them more of like, I don't know, like a hang loose type thing. But I think it looks better like this. Sorry, my dog is barking. Okay, guys. So now we're going to do his left arm the exact same way. Really simple. So what we're going to do is the same exact thing. Find this black, like these two black squares right here. Go straight up till we get to the first yellow block. And you're going to do one. And then you're going to go to the left one and to the right one. And then again, guys, go straight up two blocks on the left and the right side. Just like this, just like that. And you guys know what to do. Fill in that block right there, and we'll have our little circle again. All right, and then we're going to double that up. Replicate the exact same thing. And then go back to your yellow concrete. And like I said, guys, you're going to come out a total of 10 yellow concrete blocks, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Just like that. And again, guys, on this block right here, we're gonna go back towards the, or the sleeve a little bit here with four yellow concrete. One, two, three, and four. And then the bottom, same exact thing, guys. One, two, three, and four. And then in this back, this back little block right here, we're gonna go up to, as you guys know, one, two. And there we go, guys. You guys have actually finished the SpongeBob part. So now we're just doing all the decorating stuff. So give your guys selves a round of applause. Like I said, a pat on the back, all that great stuff. Say, hey, I'm the best. I'm the master builder because you are. We are actually done with Mr. SpongeBob here. Now we just have to make the decorative stuff, which is the pond around him and show you guys how to do the interior. So let's get started on that. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do is if you're going to be making it the exact same way, what I did in mine actually was I wanted to make it to where it basically, you know, it has a pond, but I wanted the inside to have an aquarium as the floor. I think it'd be really cool. So what I did is I removed all the blocks that are actually attached to SpongeBob, like all these inside blocks, and I replaced the inside with sand. So that way it kind of has, like, I just did that for speed, but what you guys need to do is pause it, remove all the dirt, and so you don't have to do any of this also. You don't have to do this. If you want to have a regular floor, that's fine too. But if you want to, just pause it, remove all the dirt blocks on the inside of SpongeBob, just like this, and replace the outside blocks of it with sand, just like this. So that basically like from his pants down, it should just look like sand. And then what I did was I got some water, and I filled it in because, like I said, I want the floor to kind of look like, you know, you know, fit the theme of the house. You're walking around in an aquarium, and I think it looks really cool. So then I got some light or some cyan stained glass, and of course I got some fish 
and I spawned them. I got tropical fish and just spawned them everywhere just like this. And I think they look sweet just like that. And some of them despawned or whatever sometimes, but most of them, and for my case, stayed, you know, where they were. So you can, like, load as many of them in here as you want and just have your awesome aquarium underneath your feet when you're walking. And you can do regular glass, or I think the blue scion looks a little better, though, because then it kind of blends in with the water. And it just kind of, like I said, it looks really cool having an aquarium right below your feet as you're walking around your house and just seeing the fish down there living, doing their thing down there. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. So, this is our floor. That's an awesome floor, I think. So, now we have this. We'll come back to the interior in a little bit and show you guys where the floors are and stuff. But now we have to get started on building the awesome pond that SpongeBob is actually floating on. So, let's get started on that. Okay, guys. So, what we're going to do is right here, we're going to come to these center blocks right here where the door is. And from these two blocks, we're going to go ahead and remove a total of 14 going straight that way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just like that, excuse me. And then the same thing going this way, we're just going to move all these center blocks right here. And then on the left side and this right side, we're going to do 13 blocks. Doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just ending it right there, basically. And the same thing on this side, you can just cut it right there, but I'll go ahead and count it with you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, just like that. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all of that in with the sand blocks because that's a cool walkway for SpongeBob. You know, the sand, the beach, you get it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and fill that in right there. I think it looks really awesome with this house and the water and everything going on. Just like this, guys. And, oops, missed a little bit here. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to be working on our actual shape for the actual pond. So for the pond, you're going to need lily pads, tropical fish, water obviously, and gravel you don't need, and any of the stuff you don't need. Just these three things right here and removing stuff. So what we're going to do is you're going to come to this corner right here, and you're going to move a total of eight blocks going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now going diagonal to the left here, if you're facing it this way, to the left, you're gonna go a total of seven blocks, guys. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or sorry, not so sorry, I'm counting how far, seven right here, guys. And on this seventh block, we're gonna go ahead and remove a total of 13 blocks going that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now going diagonal again, we're gonna go ahead and go a total of six blocks once again, diagonal towards the left. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. And then what I want you guys to do is do the exact same thing over here on this side. So over here, start here again, go to the left, a total of eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that, okay? And then diagonal to the left, a total of six blocks, one, or seven blocks, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like that. And now we're gonna go straight back, a total of 13, just like the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that should match up with that side. And then we're gonna go diagonal towards that way, towards the right a total of six blocks once again guys one two three four five and six now you're gonna add a seventh block right here that goes all the way straight connecting to that side so you're just gonna just go straight all the way until it connects with this side as well just fix that real quick so now we should have the frame of what's gonna be our pond so now here comes like the, the part that's kind of annoying, but it's not hard whatsoever. You're going to remove all the dirt inside of this, even this dirt underneath his feet because we want to make it look like he's floating. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, guys. But I want you guys to do is pause this and remove all this dirt that's on the inside of that frame right now. It's going to take a little bit of time, like I said, so I'm going to skip ahead just to save you guys the boredom of watching that. <laughs> so go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to like I said, pause the video right now, and I'm going to skip straight ahead to this already being done. So go ahead and remove all the dirt, guys. Okay guys, so I know you guys are probably tired because that took forever for me too. So what we're going to do now is get our water bucket and we're just going to fill all of this in. Oh, I'm so tired of freaking filling, ruining all that dirt. That took forever. So now we're just going to go ahead and fill all of this in with our water bucket just like this. 
just make sure we don't miss any spots so that way you know the water looks nice and clean and again guys go ahead and do this I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead go ahead and pause the video and fill all this in with the water and like I said guys um, I'm gonna skip ahead so go ahead and pause and do that right now alright guys so once you've done that you can go ahead and add your animals but I'm gonna go ahead and do this first I'm gonna add some lily pads I think you don't have to do this but I think it adds a really cool effect to it and just adds a little bit more to the water vibes what I you could even also do is add some sugar cane to the edges maybe even some more sand there's a few things you could do to just add a little bit more to it but I think this looks good just like this I like I said a few lily pads not too many just enough to give it that vibe uh, maybe that's a little bit too more I'm just gonna like one right here boom just evenly place them like that just a little bit random and then you're just gonna spawn a bunch of freaking fishes just like this <laughs> everywhere it's a bunch of tropical fishes because as you know spongebob lives in bikini bottom which is pretty tropical so we're gonna go ahead and spawn a bunch of tropical fish everywhere you could spawn dolphins you could even spawn sea turtles whatever you want to spawn in here but sea turtles like you know they get in the land and it kind of is annoying sometimes so i just do tropical fish on mine because i think it's just you know these are the perfect ones just to look really cool and they don't really you know affect your livelihood and the way you like do things it just kind of looks like like you know cool it doesn't make your life difficult having to see a tc turtle every time you walk out so just spawn as many fish as you want i think that's enough for me just enough to where you can see them moving all the time just adds a nice effect to the house and now we are actually done with the entire exterior so let's get started on the inside which is super simple as well so for this, I did my, whatever you want to make your floors out of, you can make them out of glass so you can see through the whole house, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do mine out of some basic stuff, just, you know, oak wood and some birch or some spruce wood planks. And then I'm going to get a ladder. That's what you mainly need. And obviously we need a door too. So let's get our door real quick and the ladder. So let's go ahead and create our door real quick. I'm going to put my doors on the inside. I'm an inside door kind of guy. Let me know if you guys are the type of people in the comments that put the door on the outside or do you put the door on the inside. I'm an inside door kind of guy. You guys let me know what you guys do. So what I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to start off with the spruce wood planks and I'm going to come to this first window right here. And right below this, I'm going to go around the entire thing with spruce wood just like this. And this house, it doesn't seem like it'd be big because it's so thin, but this is your bottom floor right here. And as you know, Minecraft, you don't need too much space. You just need enough stuff for storage, your bed, all that good stuff, and you should be good. And trust me, there's a lot of space, even though it's upward. It's just more upward space. I'm going to go around the entire outside layer with a spruce plank. Like I said, this is more just for me to show you guys where the floor should go. But you guys can do the floors and change the interior however you guys want. So I'm going to do the spruce like that. And then I'm going to fill this area in right here with oak planks just to give it a little bit of detail. You know, some uh, contrast, add that brown on the outside. But you guys can change to whatever you guys want. You could do, you know, full wood logs here, whatever you want to do. And then the next one I'm going to do is going to be, so this one's kind of like your, you know, your penthouse window where you're like the same height as the window. You can see straight out of it. But the next window, I'm going to make more of a regular window by doing it on the middle block between these three right here, just like this. And I'm not going to skip ahead. I'm going to show you guys this because what you need to do is go around this tongue right here or this mouth. So this room is going to be kind of the smallest room. So this is kind of the room you should probably just use for like, you know, minor storage for furnace and stuff like that. Or if you have like a friend that lives in your house, you know, give them this room because it's the smallest. <laughs> and it's like, you know, if you want a bigger room, make your own house, right? So <laughs> make them. And if you have a friend that lives in, a, in one of the rooms in your house on Minecraft, send him over to the channel and he'll so he can make his own house. All right, so right here, we have this right here. This is the, the small room, like I said. And then the next floor, we're gonna go ahead and make in the same exact way on the third row of the uh, the yellow uh, concrete. And we're just gonna go around just like this with the uh, spruce wood planks the same way. And you also could do is make SpongeBob's eyes out of glass too. But to me, it, I just like them to look it look more like SpongeBob. And it kind of takes away from the SpongeBob effect when you make them out of glass because you can see through it and stuff. But that's an option too. And then your windows could be the eyes as well. And then you're just going to fill this area in with planks if you're doing it the same way I am. And just do it like this. So I'm just going to fill this in just like this. And then... This is probably where I'd make like the bedroom or something because you have the sky roof and it's really, really cool. And then decide where you want your ladder to go. It can go on the sides right here, on this side over here, but I'm going to do mine just right here, going straight down all the way to the middle and then all the way down to the bottom. And then 
Just put our ladders up here just like this. I, as you guys know, I am not a stairs guy. I am a ladder guy all day long. It takes up way less room than stairs. And it's like faster to get up and down. Ladders are way better than stairs in my opinion. But you guys know I've done stairs in some builds in the past and stuff. Because stairs can look cooler. But ladders are far more efficient. Especially in a house like this. Okay, perfect. So, this is what I did for lighting guys. I actually used... A beacon or you could even use a sea lantern but I'm gonna go and use sea lantern on this one because you know it's Spongebob and on the corners I just go ahead and put a sea lantern so that way it lights up your aquarium pretty good and it also lights up the room pretty decent and then I would just go ahead and do sea lanterns in the corner of everything in here just to light up the place because you know you have to do sea lanterns you can't just do torches when it's a Spongebob house so we're gonna do sea lanterns and every single corner to light this place up and then after that, guys, it's completely up to you what you guys want to do for the interior. I didn't do the interior on this one. I'm pretty much, I would recommend just doing this and basic stuff because you don't have a lot of space. But it's actually kind of a lot of space, to be honest, for, uh, you know, a very thin house. So that is actually it, guys. These are how you make the floors. Go ahead and add whatever interior you guys want. There goes your, you like said, your friend's room that's freeloading. And then you just come down here. This room's like your lobby. It's an awesome house, guys. One of my favorite houses I've ever built, to be honest, actually. So that is actually it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think this house came out awesome. If you guys think so, too, make sure you guys let me know down below and hit that like button. And also let me know down below, guys, what else do you guys want to see tutorial on? What kind of houses do you want to see? What kind of builds do you guys want to see? Make sure you let me know down below and I'll try and make that happen for you guys. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, guys, talk to me down below in the comments. And if you guys built this, make sure you guys send me a picture of it on Twitter or Instagram. Links will be down below. I love seeing your guys' builds and seeing you guys build the stuff that I show you guys how to make and stuff. It's one of my favorite things, seeing it on your guys' world. So please, guys, make sure you send me a picture of your build if you built it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night or morning, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.